All right, so let's talk about 15 income streams that you can start in 2024 in order to make money. And I'm actually gonna split this into leveraging time, leveraging expertise, leveraging brand, and leveraging money. So no matter what situation you come from, you're gonna be able to leverage whatever skills, talents, or assets that you already have. And I'm gonna be ranking each one of these based on what I personally think about them after analyzing them and trying many of them myself and which ones are the best opportunities. So first, let's talk about leveraging time. So this would be a situation where you've got a lot of free time, but you don't have a lot of money and you don't have expertise. And in this case, the one that makes a lot of sense is actually just getting a corporate nine to five job. As much as people hate on nine to five jobs, and don't get me wrong, you know, nine to five jobs can suck. If you don't have any money, expertise, or brand, you can get a nine to five job and basically get paid to learn. Now, is this the best situation in the world? Is this something you wanna do for the rest of your life? In many cases, no. But almost everybody I know that has been successful has started off in a normal nine to five job. Then you can make money from that job, get expertise from that job, and build your brand from the job, and then leverage all of that to either get a better job or start your own thing. For instance, when I was first trying to start businesses and escape my nine to five, I used the money and the time that I had during my free time after I got off of work in order to start a bunch of business. And on top of that, I learned a lot from work itself. I learned a lot of leadership skills and management skills. And that's helped me so much when it comes to starting my own business. So I just started doing it on the side in my free time. And after I was taking it seriously, within a few months, I was able to make a full-time income from YouTube. Now, by the way, I actually do coach a few people per month on how to grow and make money from YouTube. And you can check out a free video on exactly how to do this, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And after watching the video and seeing how it works, if you'd like to apply to my coaching. I do accept a few people per month. I am very picky about who I actually coach because I only work with people who are really serious about being successful on YouTube and really want to take it seriously. But with that being said, if you think you're that person, you can apply down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So yeah, corporate nine to five. Um, don't get me wrong. It, a lot of the time they're terrible. Some nine to fives are better than others. Of course, it's a much better situation if you actually get into a good job or maybe you get a remote job, something along those lines. But everybody's got to start off somewhere, make the most out of it. I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you don't have any money, but you do have time, one thing that you'd probably want to start is what's known as drop shipping. And this is basically where you sell things online, but you don't incur any cost until the person actually buys it, right? So you don't have to have a big inventory of physical products that you're selling. The only time that you actually incur any cost is when the person actually buys it and then they will actually create it, ship it, etc. And so it's a really low risk way of making money online. And the e-commerce market is predicted to be $5.4 trillion by 2026. Now there's a bunch of different places that you could start off doing this. Of course, you have Shopify stores. You also have Etsy. You could also start selling stuff on Amazon or Walmart as well well, if I were personally getting into something like drop shipping, what I would personally be doing is instead of running ads, I would actually just be creating content where I just talk about the thing that I'm drop shipping, or I kind of review it, or maybe I use it and then I show people exactly how it works. And then, hey, there's a link down in the description or the pinned comment below, et cetera, and then they can check it out if they'd like to. Something along those lines. So I would definitely be creating content if I was starting drop shipping right now. So this one's pretty good. Lots of people out there making money from it. But with that being said, it's not as simple as all the gurus make it out to be. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. So another one that's very similar to dropshipping is selling on online platforms. So this isn't necessarily dropshipping because in dropshipping, the product is already created. It was probably created by somebody in China, like Alibaba, for instance. And then you're basically just a middleman. Whereas if you sell on online platforms, you might actually be creating the products yourself. So Etsy would be one example of where you could do this, where you make like handcrafted jewelry or something along those lines. And then you would be selling it to people. So this is one that is very time intensive. It does take a lot of time in order to do this. But with that being said, the products are more rare and less sort of mass manufactured. And you're not just a middleman, you're actually creating the products yourself. So the profit margins are going to be a lot bigger. And so this can be really good as well. There's a little more complexity to it than drop shipping. But with that being said, there's a ton of people that are having success doing this on sites like Etsy. And so I'll go ahead and give this one an 
eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be selling digital products. And the beautiful thing about digital products is again, you don't have to have a bunch of money in order to store them or create them. So you can create a digital product such as a resume template or a notion template, or you can create some kind of like online calendar, or you can create eBooks, software, music, art, basically any type of digital related content. And there's people online that are literally accidentally making money doing this. For instance, this guy right here is a student who accidentally became a millionaire with a cult following after selling his uh, expressionless selfies as NFTs. And he says that he just feels confused, right? He's like, not sure how he started making money, but he did. So obviously there's more to it than that. Another thing you could sell is online assignments, online workbooks, guides, mini courses, et cetera. Typically, these are gonna be in the lower ticket range between $1 and $300. But if you sell a bunch of them, you can make really good money doing this. And the best thing is you don't really have to waste or risk that much of your own money. So yeah, selling digital products, amazing income stream. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. What's up guys? So we're gonna be having a live training where I'm going to be teaching you how to grow and make money from your YouTube channel, okay? So this is gonna be stuff that I've never taught before. It's probably the only time I'm ever gonna teach it. So definitely you wanna show up for it and it's gonna be at Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so the link to it will be down in the description or swipe up or whatever, it'll, it'll say it on the screen, but definitely check it out. You don't wanna miss out on this. Next is going to be starting a YouTube channel. So it is very inexpensive to start a YouTube channel these days. You can literally just start one with your phone or a computer. You don't need any fancy equipment. There's plenty of channels that I've seen absolutely blow up using the most basic equipment. And I am a little biased here. I think YouTube is amazing, but my biggest piece of advice here is to solve real problems problems for real people that have real money. If you're trying to make some kind of little rinky dink entertainment channel, there's going to be a ton of competition. And it's basically one of those markets where the winner takes all. And so only a very tiny percentage of people who start entertainment channels actually end up making money. And then the people at the very top make like the vast majority of the money. We're talking like the Mr. Beast and the PewDiePie's of the world. Whereas with education channels where you're solving real problems for real people that have real money, and you're picking a specific person and a specific niche to make content for, it is very easy to start making money, even if you have a tiny channel. And many of my students, for instance, make over $10,000 a month with less than 1000 subscribers. So like I said before, if you want to apply for my coaching and my mentoring, uh, if you want to start a YouTube channel and have me teach you how to do it, you can apply for that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I accept a few people every month. And a fun fact here is YouTube, when it first started, was actually a dating company. So it was actually sort of like a video dating app. And then of course they quickly pivoted when they realized it could be so much more than that. And there's actually over 435,000 people in the United States alone that are full-time YouTubers, meaning they're making a full-time income from YouTube. That is an absurd amount of people. That's, that's like almost half a million people just in the United States alone making a full-time income from YouTube. And there's probably millions more that are making a part-time income from it. So yeah, unbelievably huge opportunity. The content creator economy is getting huge. Creating content, in my opinion, is without a doubt the biggest opportunity right now. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. And then another one I wanna get into if you have plenty of time would be some sort of physical labor. For instance, you could try power washing. So there's a lot of different things you could use power washers for. Uh, one thing you could use them for is cleaning driveways. You could also clean gutters. You could clean decks, the sides of houses, etc. And there's a really cool article I saw on a 22 year old entrepreneur making $155,000 a year with a pressure washing business, right? So generally speaking, you make anywhere between $192 and $401 per gig. And it is incredibly easy to start. All you'd have to do is just rent a pressure washing machine and you'd basically be good to go. So this is one where obviously it is time intensive and it's also hard work work, you have to be out in the sun, you have to be washing things. But if you have the time and you're willing to work hard, you can make a ton of money doing a lot of these kind of physical side hustles. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. All right, so now let's talk about leveraging expertise. So if you're watching this, and you're someone who maybe has been working in the corporate world for a while, you've got a really good job, or you're just really good at something,
something, you've gotten really good at playing guitar, you've gotten really good at a certain type of sport, something along those lines, then you can actually just go ahead and leverage your expertise. And the first way you could do this is either with coaching or consulting. And here's an example of somebody who did it. They basically started off, this is, this is name is Grant, and he says that there's five steps to becoming a millionaire from a millennial who did it in five years. And he basically just started off by building websites. And he did it for specific types of businesses like law firms. And the first amount that he charged was $300. And then that law firm ended up recommending him to another law firm. And in six months, he went from charging $300 per engagement to $5,000. And then within a full year, he sold his first $100,000 project. Yes, one single project for $100,000. And he decided to quit his full-time job to focus on growing his consulting business. And it took him only five years after taking his first screenshot of his $2.26 balance to hit his first seven figures. So yeah, there's so many different ways that you can consult. Typically, it involves becoming an expert on something very specific. For instance, in his case, it was building websites. And then he had a certain component of it that was actually building the website out. And then he was able to transition that from not only building the website, but also consulting on how they can use the website to make more money. And so yeah, consulting, coaching, there's so many different opportunities here. And it's not just in the business world, you can coach on health, you can coach on diet, there's a lot of different personal development coaches out there, there's career coaches, business coaches, just everything. So yeah, this is a phenomenal way of making money. And to the people who actually do the coaching with me, when it comes to growing and making money from their YouTube. This is my number one way that I recommend making money once you start getting a bunch of views on your YouTube channel. So I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score as well. All right. So if you're an expert, another thing you could do is engaging in speaking events. So this is literally where you go and you give speeches on whatever your expertise is in. And just as an example, Janet Yellen, who is the uh, US Treasury Secretary, has been paid over $7 million in speaking fees. And she was paid over 67,500 for speaking at a Goldman Sachs event, for instance. Now, all joking aside, because that's actually kind of ridiculous that somebody who has so much control over the US economy would be getting paid by these corporations. But all joking aside, I think you see my point here. If you're an expert, you can actually get paid to speak. And typically, it's not going to be $67,000. But it might be something like 500 to $5,000. And if you're really well known in your field, you can get paid anywhere from 20,000 to $50,000. So yeah, this is for people who really are experts in their field. So if you're not like a bona fide expert, probably not going to be able to make money doing this, but it can be a really good opportunity. I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an info product. So this is where you basically create a course. Typically, it's going to be a medium ticket course. So anywhere from about 300 to $2,000. And it's going to be going over something that you are very good at, right? Something that you're an expert in. So just as an example, let's say you're watching this and you are somebody who became a computer programmer and you make six figures a year doing software development. That means you are an expert in software development. You became a software developer yourself. Maybe you did it without a college degree. So that would be a particular kind of unique angle that you could sell on. And you could create a course for other people on how to do software development. So you could get very specific and teach them like a particular framework or a language, or you could be a little more broad and just teach them how to get a software developer job as well. So info products are great. They help other people out a lot as well. There's a lot of different websites where you can host info products like Coursera, Udemy, Teachable, etc. And they're extremely helpful. And they're also very hands off. So you don't have to actually coach the person. Now, in my opinion, I kind of stopped selling info products just because of the fact that I found that myself as well as other people didn't really get a lot of people results when they were selling courses. And the reason for that is because there's no interactive component you could make the best course in the world. And a lot of the time, the person's not going to get the result just simply because we're not designed to just look at a computer for 50 hours and learn something, right? We're designed to actually interact with other human beings. And that's why I transitioned more to coaching rather than making courses. But with that being said, I've still taken a bunch of very helpful courses myself. And I've learned a lot from them. I've probably bought over 50 courses in my day at least. And those were higher ticket courses. Uh, if you're talking about low ticket courses, I've probably bought over 100 of them. So I really do like info products. They are somewhat limited. If you're trying to solve like a hard problem for somebody, they're probably not gonna get results from an info product. But if, if you're solving something very easy, just a very easy, simple problem, 
info products can be great. So for that reason, I'll go ahead and give these a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this video with someone else out there that needs to see it. Someone else who's looking for alternative income streams, other ways of making money, definitely share this video with them. Next, let's talk about mentoring and coaching. And this is one of my absolute favorite business models. Now it's a little bit different than consulting because I know I talked about consulting before. Consulting is a, usually a little more corporate. A lot of the time you'd be working with businesses or people that are kind of like working inside of businesses. So it's a little bit more of a corporate feel, whereas mentoring and coaching is more of a personal type of feel. But with that being said, there's a lot of argument that they're kind of just the same thing. And I absolutely love uh, doing this as a business model because it gets people amazing results. You're able to work directly with people and that increases the success rate from like 5% all the way up to like 80%. Because no matter how good your course is, they are going to need feedback on that and they need somebody there who can kind of look at their work and tell them what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. You know, think about anybody who got good at sports, for instance, there's no way that they would have gotten good at sports without having a coach or a mentor. And it's the same exact thing with business. I didn't get good at business until I had a mentor who taught me. So yeah, mentoring, coaching, absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. All right. So now let's talk about leveraging your brand. So let's say you kind of have a following online. Maybe you have a bunch of friends on Facebook or you have an Instagram that's kind of popped off a little bit. You're getting some views on TikTok, something along those lines. How can you leverage your brand and make money from it? My favorite way of doing this is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is absolutely phenomenal if you're getting a lot of traffic, but you don't really have anything to sell to them. And I absolutely love affiliate marketing because it's basically a way for you to sort of test out different products and see what your audience actually wants to buy. And it's also extremely hands off. Literally, the only thing you have to take care of is the traffic. That is it. Nothing else. You don't have to take care of the sales or the, the heavy lifting on the marketing, like creating a sales page or the operations or the delivery or the customer service or building the product, thinking of the product idea, none of that. All of that is taken care of for you. With affiliate marketing, all you have to focus on is just getting traffic. So I absolutely love affiliate marketing. I think it's a phenomenal way of making money, but you do have to get good at getting traffic and therefore you'd have to leverage your brand. So really love this one with the caveat that you do have to have an audience. I'll go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. So the next one would be setting up a newsletter. And this is basically kind of like an email list where you're sending emails out to people, but they're really high quality emails. They're curated emails where you're giving a ton of value to the person. And then they subscribe to your newsletter so that they get these emails every week or maybe every couple days. And then in part of the newsletter, you end up selling something, right? So you'll sell some kind of affiliate product or maybe you'll do a sponsorship in the newsletter and people don't really care because it's just really high quality and they get a lot of value out of it anyways. So of course, this is another one where you do have to have a large audience of people in order to make this work. You have to have a brand, but you'd be surprised how much you can make even with a tiny newsletter of just a couple hundred people. As long as you have the right people, right? If you're solving real problems for real people that have real money, you can make a ton of money from newsletters, but you do have to leverage your brand. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and give newsletters a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about how you can leverage money if you already have it. And the first way that you can leverage money is by doing real estate. And one type of real estate that's really hot right now is Airbnb. So the way that you would do this is you'd either use your own real estate if you already have houses and properties, or you could actually just rent out a property from someone else and then list it on Airbnb and make even more money. So an example of this would be, let's say you rent out a property for $1,000 a month. And then if you're able to get that fully booked on Airbnb, you're gonna be making $3,000 a month from it, right? Because you're charging $100 a night. And then after all the expenses and everything like that, let's just say that all the expenses involved are going going to be $500 worth of expenses, that means that you would take home $1,500 a month from a single property. Now, I actually know a lot of people doing this and pro tip, make sure you sort of market your property as a luxury property. And that way you can, you know, basically rent it out for even more on Airbnb. And you need to actually set it up to where it is a nice luxury property, like it's in a good location and it has really good interior design. But this can be a phenomenal way of making money. I'm seeing like people that I meet in real life that are making a ton of money doing this. And then once you have kind of a portfolio of properties that you're doing this with, you can make it to a full-time income relatively quickly. So yeah, real estate, great way to make money if you already have money. Of course, you have to have some investment capital up front in order to rent 
get a mortgage, buy a house, and in some cases, and actually in many cases, actually you know make the house look better. So if you're doing a luxury property, you're gonna have to do some interior design and that's gonna cost a lot of money. But yeah, really good way of making money. I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And then my favorite way of making money, if you already have money by leveraging the money that you already have is going to be starting a business and investing in your business upfront. So there's ways of starting a business where you don't have to invest anything upfront. For instance, you can start your YouTube channel with just a cam or just like your computer and a phone camera. But with that being said, you're gonna grow a lot faster and it's gonna be a lot easier to start your YouTube channel if you have a decent setup good equipment, and you can hire other people to edit your videos for you, for instance. So with my YouTube channel, for instance, it's basically grown like 300% year over year every single year. And that's better than any other type of investment I possibly could have made, right? So if I invested in the stock market, I would have made maybe 10% per year. If I invested in real estate and I was really good at it, maybe I could have made like 20% per year. But businesses are the only vehicle where you can make ridiculous returns on your investment, something like 300% per year, year over year year. And so that is my favorite way to invest my money in order to leverage it properly if you already have some money. So if you're somebody who already has a good job, or you are somebody who already has a bunch of money in investments, and you want to leverage it in a better way, this would be a great opportunity for you. And of course, I'm biased, but my favorite way of starting a business is to start a YouTube business. And again, you can apply to get coaching or mentoring from me down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And by the way, I made a great video on 19 side hustle ideas that actually work. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.